Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Abdul and I usually talk about citizenship by investment programs. Today we are going to discuss the newly announced uh, Egypt residency by investment. The Egyptian government has just approved a new law in which you can apply for residence permit in Egypt and you have to invest in different sectors in Egypt. So I'm going to tell you the exact details what they have released and what they have announced. Basically, the Egyptian government was working because they need dollars, right? They started the citizenship by investment program. I have already a video about that where you have to invest uh, $300,000 in real estate and then you can get citizenship in three to six months. Now, they have a new option in which you can invest a minimum of 50,000 US dollars and you will get a residence permit for one year that you can renew again and again, right? So what they did, just uh, the Egyptian government actually uh, made some amendments to the existing laws about foreigners, about residence permit, and about investments. They changed the law number 89 of 1960 uh, regarding the entry and residence of foreigners in the Arab Republic of Egypt. And they changed also law number 230 of 1996. And then they changed the law number 14 of 2012 uh, regarding investments in residency permits, right? As a result, for far foreign citizens now, it is easy to obtain a residence permit in Egypt by investment. What you can, now the real question is, what are the investment options? The investment options in real estate, there are two options. One, you have to invest in real estate. And the second option is to deposit money in the bank account. You have to open a bank account and deposit a certain amount, right? So I will tell you both the options. The first, uh, the first option is about real estate. If you invest $200,000 in real estate uh, properties, then you get five years residence permit because they have divided the investment into different categories. You can get a residence permit for one year, for two years, for three years, and for five years. And same is the case with the de deposit in the bank account, right? So if you invest 200,000, then you get in a residence permit for five years. If you invest uh, 100,000 US dollars in real estate, then you get residence permit for three years. And then the lowest amount or the minimum requirement is $50,000. If you invest $50,000 in Egypt in a real estate uh, property, then you will get residence permit for one year and then you can renew. Whether you get it for one year, whether you get it for three years or five years, you can continue it as long as you hold that property, as long as you own that property. Uh, real estate in Egypt, you can renew uh, your uh, your uh, uh, residence permit easily in Egypt, right? So there's three options they have for real estate. Then uh, the bank deposit, if you open a bank account in an Egyptian government owned bank account, right? So if you deposit 100,000 US dollar, you will get residence permit for three years. If you deposit $50,000, just 50,000 US dollars, then you get uh, residence permit for one year in Egypt. There is no information right now what are the requirements but usually they will require the basic documents like uh, your passport, maybe criminal record certificate, birth certificate and these things. And then the process is somewhere like one to two months right for after you purchase the real estate. And one thing to be noted here that you have to purchase the real estate, the one which is already registered with the government. Because in Egypt, there are many real estate uh, properties which are not registered in the government registry system. So only you, you need to buy the real estate that is registered with the government, right? So this is very important point to note. Now, the question is whether it is worth it or not. I have recently visited uh, Egypt you know my video, the other video I posted about uh, Egypt. I visited, the country is good, it is really cheap. We compare it to the European Union and other countries. Even if we compare it to Turkey, it is still a very cheap option. The pound is very weak. The Egyptian pound, one US dollar is equal to like 35 Egyptian pounds right now. That is why the country is very, very cheap in terms of uh, expenses like accommodation, food, transportation and almost everything, right? And it is a tourist country, you know, so many people already going there uh, for visiting different historical sites. So 
Security should not be an issue, I guess, but it depends person to person. If you like Egyptian culture, if you like to live there, the climate, the weather and everything, then you can. This is a good option for those who want to really move there and live there in Egypt and make a residence. A tax residency is also possible. Like if you live there, then you will be able to move your tax residency from your country to Egypt. So in this sense, Egypt is a good option. And especially it will be a good option for countries like Africa, East Africa, South Africa, West Africa. For these African countries, it will be a very good option. And also for some Asian countries, for people who want to go to a country which is which has more facilities. So that's it guys. It is a newly updated uh, program. If there is some new updates about this program, then I will make another video. Subscribe to this channel if you want information about latest information about citizenship by investment and residency by investment programs. Thank you very much for watching.